So if you are down for rigging your FX30 into a studio ready camera, then hey, welcome, this is the perfect video for you. You can actually get something like this for very cheap dollars. And uh, let's actually begin with building this thing. The first thing you need is a Tilta FX3 cage. In my case, this is the one I bought. This also fits perfectly for the FX30 and it has a nice leather handle on one side included, which gives you stability. Then there are a lot of rails and paddings and mounting points on the camera. Just insert it and then uh, you need those three screws that you see right here to actually put it in. Then there's actually a very nice magnetic triangle screwdriver device which screws it in and it also looks very nice. Next up, this is how the camera with the cage looks. It's very handy. We need more top thingies. So let's put the top mounting plate that came with the cage. This is actually covering your hot shoe mount. So if you have the official Sony handle, don't install it. Otherwise, for every other thing, you need it. Very handy, you can put the triangular thing magnetically underneath the cage. Next up, Let's install a lens. This is the Sigma 16mm f1.4, which I use most often for talking headshots or B-roll. This is already a great slim profile shooting solution that covers your camera completely and gives you enough mounting points for more accessories like this one right here, which is actually included in the cage as well. This is a blade for your camera stand, which is perfect for almost all stands and it has a very low profile indeed. So next up, this is my small rig wood handle, which has three super cool functions. It's a bit longer than the regular one. You can actually rotate it for very fast vertical content. It can be mounted via every NATO rail system available on your cage. There are a lot more attachment points. You also get a small add-on wrench with it. And above all, the low angle shots become so much more easier with the top handle than when having actually no top handle. And if you are need to shoot more vertical content, then uh, this uh, wood handle has a super cool small function. The top knob can actually be rotated so that your whole camera becomes a vertical shooting camera in a matter of seconds. Next up, audio solution. Right now I'm using the Deity D3 mic from Deity in that case. There's not much to it, just screw it into the hole on the top of your cage and connect the audio cable into the input of your camera and you are done. Voila! Then next up this is a monitor stand from Smorica, a small monitor handle which has two screws and can be flexibly rotated 360 degrees as well as up and down. This harmonizes very well with the handle which has a nice stop mechanism protecting your monitor from actually falling off. And then this is the uh, Thomas Ninja V which doubles as my monitor as well as the recording device for the Sony FX30. This 5 inch monitor is ultra bright with roughly a thousand nits, takes Sony NPF 550 batteries and uses SSD drives as a storage. I still had some Samsung T5 drives left over from my Pocket 4K, so here's a quick how to rehouse them for the Atomos Ninja V. So this thing does not only fit very well, it also looks damn good and has enough space for the fans to actually blow out the hot air that the monitor produces. Screw it on and now the only thing left is to actually connect it via HDMI 2.0 to the camera output and then you can record 12-bit ProRes 422 to get a super clean and detailed image from it. No progress raw for me actually since I'm using DaVinci Resolve, which Atomos 
and uh, Black Magic are in an eternal struggle with over who has a better RAW format. Now, if you need another audio solution, you can also add the Rode Wireless mic or any other to the system, no problem, just click it onto the back side of the handle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my current build, which will be used in my studio as well as when I'm outside shooting for clients. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day, see you around and of course, goodbye.